Um, I have a feeling that I ought to apologize to you for coming on so strong about your date with Scorpio. Yep. You kind of hit me where I live. Are you involved with him? Where I live is my budget. You see, if a man asks me out to dinner, it costs me that much less to live that week. Oh, you're all heart, aren't you? No, nope, all stomach at the moment. I'm hungry. Well, since I ruined your evening, I guess the least I can do is uh, invite you out to dinner. I accept. But first, why don't you tell me why you ruined my evening in the first place? I wanted to talk to you privately. Go ahead. Thanks. Uh, look, I, uh, I want you to know that I really, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't interfere in your, in your personal life if I didn't think it was important. Mm -hmm, I know that. Yeah. Well, the truth is I'm worried about you. You are? Yeah. No matter what else has happened between us, I mean, I think we're we're still friends, aren't we? I'd like to believe that. Believe it. Why are you worried about me? Well, I guess I'm uh, actually I, 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 I'm worried about both of us uh, working for the Quartermains. I mean. Oh, come on now. That's ridiculous. No. I love working for the Quartermains. It's a beautiful office. I don't have to stand on my feet all day like I did when I was working in Wyndham's department store. The pay is good. What more can I ask? Laura, I have a very strong feeling that we're being used. I know I am. In what way? <sighs> well, I don't know. It's, it, it's a feeling. It's nothing definite. But I, I know this, and you should too. They only hired us because we, well, because we had nothing to lose. Nobody else in town would even touch us. Luke, what are you saying? I'm telling you what I'm saying. I'm telling you I want you to quit your job. Here we go again. No, now look. Now, it's not because I don't want to work in the same office building as you do. It's more than that. I don't want you used, especially by the Quartermains. The Quartermains are famous for using people. Listen, I have agreed to do some investigative work for them. Now, in the last couple of days, I've uncovered something that I... I think it's going to get messy. I don't want you involved. I don't want you hurt. I'm not about to quit a job that I need as badly as this one. You struck out. All right, I struck out. One, two, three, and you're out. Well, I got the whole evening ahead of me, right? Maybe I'll get another time up a bat. Hmm. Especially if you... Do you still want me to take you to dinner? You're taking advantage of me. Because I'm hungry. Of course. Are you sure you don't mind being seen with uh, the notorious Laura Weber Baldwin out in public? Do you mind being seen with Luke Spencer and a frog in his throat? People are going to talk. Of course they're going to talk. right but nothing you can say will get me to quit my job i tell you you really remind me of somebody i used to know ah lucy johnson is that her name was that it it's been a long time mm-hmm it's been a lifetime let me help you well, I, I don't know if it was Lucy Johnson, actually. It was, uh, it was somebody who had a very annoying quality, though. What was that? Stubbornness. Well, I'm the same old Lucy Johnson. Uh, when I get nervous, I get hungry. And when somebody dictates to me, I get very, very stubborn. And I say no. And I'm really enjoying being an independent woman. Now, so, if you're going to try to talk me into quitting my job, you can go right ahead. But I'm telling you right now, nothing you can say is going to get me to do it. It isn't Lucy Johnson, I'm sure of that now. It's somebody else. Somebody that, I don't know, she, it, was a, it, was, it was definitely a female, and she had a, she had a stubborn streak in her. 
And uh, she loved to eat. Oh, whenever. Under any circumstance, she wanted to eat. And uh, I think her name was uh, Bessie May. Bessie. On the Whitaker's farm? Bessie. The cow. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. You remember her, too. I'm telling you, once I got used to her, I fell in love with her. We had a kind of love that nobody else in the world would understand except Bessie and me. <sighs> Do you miss her? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I miss her a lot. <laughs> I miss the Whitaker bed. Scorpio. Are you? Yes, I am. I am very glad. I mean, he may be okay for a one night or, you know, a little dinner, a little wine. But take a good look at the guy. This is not husband material. <laughs> uh -uh, definitely not a good father. Really? No. I'm, well, look at his kids. His kids are going to be called either Scorp or, uh, Scorp or, uh, Kangaroo Breath. <laughs> Now, that's no good. I mean, the kids are going to grow up with a terrible complex. Well, thank you for worrying about all my unborn children. You're a real pal. Petra. I'm hungry. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I give up. Are you really trying to protect me? I do need that job, Luke. Yeah, I know. I got that message really loud and clear. Fine. Then it's all settled. Listen, I'm not kidding. I don't know what lies ahead of us if we stay with the Quartermains. But I'm on the road to finding out. Laura, will you help me? Are you saying that you need me? Yes, I'm saying I need you. For one important thing only. Thank you.